For decades, people living or working at Camp Lejeune on the east coast of North Carolina were potentially exposed to contaminated drinking water. There's evidence that exposure caused severe and in some cases deadly illnesses. WCNC Charlotte's Carolyn Bruck joins us with the town hall meeting that took place in Jacksonville, bringing advocates and victims together. Camp Lejeune, it's the largest marine base on the East Coast. For decades, high levels of toxic chemicals leached into the groundwater there, causing some to have severe, lifelong illnesses. The contamination poisoned drinking water for thousands of veterans and their families, including children in utero. Advocate Jerry Ensminger served at the base, but lost his daughter Janie in the process after she was diagnosed with leukemia. When I heard about the water contamination, and the only reason I found out about it was because I retired here. I retired in 1994, and I didn't know about the water contamination until after I retired. Mike Partain, who was conceived and born at Camp Lejeune, was diagnosed with male breast cancer at the age of 29. I tell you one thing, I've never been more scared than when I was sat down by my doctor and said, you have cancer and it's serious. Battling cancer, Partain joined another fight, the one to uncover the story of contamination at Camp Lejeune. Activist Aaron Brockovich has been alongside Partain and Ensminger since 2012, seeking justice. And although she's known for helping win a settlement for victims in a separate case of water poisoning, Brockovich says this fight is personal. Jerry and Mike are such the face of the Camp Lejeune story. And anytime there's an environmental contamination, military otherwise, people will usually call me and they just think of myself and the film and my association with water. I'm a military mom. This issue is very close to my heart. Carolyn Brooke, WCNC Charlotte.